Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Breaking news, Scott Robertson has officially named his 23 to face the Springboks at Ellis Park on Saturday with Sam Kane returning to the starting lineup, and he will face South Africa for the first time since his red card in the World Cup final um, with Scott Barrett also returning as captain. Uh, three vice captains as well, something that I'm not a massive, uh, massive fan of, but something that Razor obviously does rate. Um, other big selections, for example, include Tomati Williams starting in the number one jersey, as well as uh, Mark Talea not starting, but on the bench, Caleb Clark, Will Jordan, Bowden Barrett, your back three. Before we go into the side, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right. This is what Scott Robertson has named, and it's a very, very interesting side. So let's get into it, shall we? In the front row, with no Ethan DeGroote, who did not travel out to South Africa due to injury, Tomati Williams is being backed um, to face Franz Mahova this weekend. And what's going to be a pretty impressive front row battle, and uh, I think a major part of this game will be that sort of that scrum battle, really, to see, uh, you know, who can get the better of each other. Um, on the other side, it will be Tomo Lomax, and in between, Cody Taylor, who is one of the three vice captains in this side. In the second row, it will be Scott Barrett, who is the captain, next to Tupo Vai, and that's a lock combination. Also, a couple of locks missing uh, for the, the All Blacks, and... Uh, yeah, I think I, I still think that that's that's a, a sort of a, a not necessarily a weakness, but it's it's a position or a, a an aspect of the All Black side which is really having to adapt with you know Brody Metallic, Sam White, Sam Whitelock moving on. I don't think it's nearly as strong as it used to be. You know, you used to have Scott Barrett, Sam Whitelock, Brody Metallic in your sort of twenty three, which was very very impressive. A two is a nice player, a very nice player, but he's not quite the same caliber. Um, as as what we had for the All Blacks, you know, basically a, a year ago, and um, yeah, I'll be interested to see how he goes this weekend. Um, although he has been pretty impressive so far this year in the back row, Sam Kane starts, um, which is an interesting selection because he hasn't. I think I think it's his first time he's actually starting under Scott Robertson. He is joined by Ethan Blackadder, who's been very impressive, and then Artie Sevilla, current World Player of the Year. The halfback pairing continues to be. TJ Perrineau and Damian McKenzie, they kind of silenced their critics um, in that uh, second test against Argentina after a pretty poor first test. A lot of people talking about, is this the right combination? Is this the way to go for New Zealand? However, they very much seem to have uh, uh, put some of those uh, critics uh, or criticisms to bed when it came to the second test where they were really, really good. And uh, Damian McKenzie, very uh, electric player, creates something out of nothing, an exciting player to watch, and he's going to be a massive threat on Saturday. The center pairing will be Jordy Barrett and Rico Wani, a center pairing very well known to the Springboks. They would have faced it a few times. Even last year, I think probably would have faced it, I think at least twice. And um, they'll know what they're up against. And then, as mentioned, Caleb Clark, Will Jordan, Bowden Barrett, uh, the back three. Expect the back three to change because there's no sort of plow option on the bench, uh, a wing and a center. So you probably expect to see Bowden Barrett shift to 10 potentially. Um, you'll probably see Will Jordan finish the game at fullback will be my guess is what we've seen previously. Uh, in terms of the bench, it is a 5-3 orthodox split. Um, Asafa Amur, Opatong Gafasi, Fletcher Newell, the reserve front row. You then got Sam Derry in the second row who continues to grow his all blast career. Sam Penny Finau competing, the forwards over there. Cortez Ratama, who uh, made his debut uh, about a month ago, actually, uh, I think it was against uh, England. He will uh, be the reserve number nine. You then got Anton Leonard Brown and Mark Talea. Um, as the other final two on the bench. I'm a big fan of Anthony Leonard Brown. In fact, I, there's a certain part of me that believes that he actually adds more balance to this All Blacks uh, uh, backline. Rico Wadi, devastating ball carrier, very physical. We know kind of the finisher he is. I think Anthony Leonard Brown adds a whole new dimension. You know, he can play at 10 and I mean, he can play at 12 and 13, so he can play at both sort of sides. But I think that he's oh, he's one of my favorite players to watch. Uh, very skillful player, for example. It's it's a very good team. It's a pretty try and test the team, to be fair, from Razor. Not too many sort of surprises and changes to um, what we what we're sort of used to. Um, and so Scott Robson has got with a lot of uh, um, of what he's sort of been working with. Um, so nothing too too sort of uh, strange, really. Um, in terms of the team selection, in terms of what we selected. So what do you think about the team? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.